For the record, please state your name and address. Uh, Raymond J. Trank, 300 Centennial Street, Pasco, Glen Park, Town Council. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. You know, I was thinking about it. We've spoken, I don't know, how many times? Hundreds. Hundreds. My, uh, my boss at work calls me Elvis because he sees me on the uh, uh, internet TV so often. But there isn't a lot to be said, to be honest. Uh, I think in this case, we're a bunch of hicks up here in a hick town in north, northwestern Rhode Island, clinging our guns and religion. And we're against power and money. Uh, we don't have those things. We don't have power and money. And I think if you listen to your experts, not our experts, not other experts, your experts, Mr. Reisman, years ago, waxed poetically about this area, about this forest. The Army Corps of Engineers over 25 years ago deemed this to be the worst possible site for a power plant you could ever get. And that was respected. And our power plant that we have is a different area. Your director, Jan Coy, when the Boy Scouts negotiated to put 200 acres of their former reservation up for preservation, Waxing poetic isn't enough to say what she said about that forest and its preservation. If you've ever had a, uh, any doubt about a supreme being, you can sit on the beach of a former Boy Scout reservation, look over a calm pond, look over the, the beginning of this forest that we're talking about, and I think you can connect. Right? I think you can do that. You can fish there. Throw them back, back, get them another day. Unfortunately, that view and that beach are going to be in the shadow of 200 foot uh, smokestacks if this goes through. So I'm saying don't listen to power and money. And don't listen to Hicks. Listen to the people that you know and the things that you know and the things that you believe. Because ultimately, what I say doesn't mean much. I, I know my friends, my brothers actually, in the construction trade, while they're growing up to 25 permanent jobs that are going to be brought to Marvel, have named this or branded this a NIMBY project. And it's, there is some truth to that. But it's not my bad. It's not their bad. It's not even our bad. It's Rhode Island's backyard, it's New England's backyard, and it's the United States of America's backyard. There isn't much more of this left. There aren't areas where aircraft can be used for navigation. There aren't areas like this around here. As you wouldn't put a power plant on Beaver Tail, and you wouldn't put a power plant in Middle Rogers Park, and you wouldn't put a power plant on Second Beach in Newport, I think our forest is as important or more important than those areas. Because there are 10 beaches, there's only one forest. So I think when we sit down and look at this, Look at your experts, what your experts, what your boss has said about this area. And think about this as a gift from God. We don't want to destroy it. We don't want to eliminate it. And we don't want to bend to power and money. Thank you very much. Thank you.